Hello everyone, welcome aboard Submarine Bakuna here at Independent Seaport Museum in Philadelphia. My name is Greg, and on today's tour, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the maneuvering room. The maneuvering room is the second to last compartment on the boat, located just forward of the aft torpedo room. Dominating the center of the space is the single unit electrical cubicle, which serves as the control station for Bakuna's main propulsion motors. Unlike most ships that control their speed from the engine room, Bakuna and diesel boats like her control their speed from the maneuvering room. Remember, Bakuna's engines are here only to provide power to her electric generators. The purpose of propelling the ship falls to her two motors. The cubicle is controlled from this interface. While it may initially look intimidating, the reality of it is the interface is symmetrical. The starboard side of the cubicle controls the starboard side of the boat, and the port side of the cubicle controls the port side of the boat. This means you only have to learn half the cubicle in order to be able to operate the entire thing. The 10 operating levers at the base of the cubicle control the direction of the motors as well as the flow of electricity through the main propulsion system. The outboard most levers control the direction of the motors, astern, ahead, or off. As you might expect, the starboard lever controls the starboard motor and the port lever controls the port motor. The next lever is the starter lever. The starter lever is used for cutting in resistance in series with the armature, thus keeping the starting current down to a minimum. As the motor picks up speed, the resistance can be cut out of the circuit again when the armature is at a running speed and the current has reached a normal value. The next two levers are the generator levers. The starboard two control generators one and three, while the port two control generators two and four. Each lever has three operating positions, off, motor bus, and battery bus. Motor bus connects the generators to our motors, while battery bus connects the generators to our batteries for recharging. The next lever is the bus selector. The function of this lever is to open and close both port and starboard motor buses, connect the battery bus to the motor bus, as well as connect any contactors required to operate the motors in series. And the last lever is the battery selector. This lever switches the forward and after batteries between operating in parallel and operating in series. There would normally be two electricians on duty operating the cubicle at any one time, one responsible for the starboard side of the boat, and one responsible for the port side of the boat. While the two sides are largely the same, there is one difference between them, and that is the starboard side of the cubicle has an altimeter. An altimeter indicates altitude, and is usually found on aircraft. So why then do we have one on a submarine? Well, the answer is air pressure. In order to indicate altitude, the altimeter measures air pressure. The higher you go, the lower the air pressure. In 1951, as part of her guppy modification, Bakuna was outfitted with a snorkel, and the snorkel does exactly what you think it does. It allows us to dive down to about 60 feet or so while continuing to bring fresh air into the boat so we can run our engines even while submerged. The snorkel is equipped with a clapper valve at the top so that if a wave passes over, the valve shuts and prevents any water from coming down in the snorkel and flooding the boat. If that valve were to get stuck shut, the diesel engines would continue to consume air in the boat because they needed to operate. The crew also needs the air to breathe, and so as the diesel engines continue to suck air out of the boat, the air pressure in the hull is going to start to decrease. If the electrician on duty sees the needle in the altimeter jump and then slowly climb, he knows something is wrong with the snorkel, he can then shut off the engines and divert to battery power so the crew doesn't suffocate. Well that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, let us know by liking and sharing it. Then head down to the comments section below and leave suggestions for topics you'd like to see us cover in future videos. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.